within the raw interaction between two people, the, uh, the first thing to remember is that you can never get away from basic musical principles. So whether that's dynamics, counterpoint, density, melodic development, all those things play a part, but you're, you're free to choose how the tapestry works between the two people. And that means that there can be two different voices completely where we're both going different directions, but trying to find um, some common ground in the middle where we're relating. I can purposely completely counter, go against what he's playing or try to follow and which, which is not, you know, I mean, in a duo, you don't want like somebody playing on top and somebody following. You kind of want some type of inter equal interaction, but, but how that balances out can change throughout the performance and um, go many different vectors. And, and in fact, the many different vectors it goes, it gives it its um, compositional life because, you know, the variation is created by the choices we make between the various sections and those various sections, you know, can, can be completely different than each other or kind of follow a same type of course. But anyway, that's the options is what makes this work. The most important thing to remember um, is to listen, to listen, to listen, to listen. One of the things that I, you know, practice is the art of listening. Um, I really take my time um, within any context, but especially within this, in the context of this duo, I work to really listen as the concert is, is moving forward. I listen to myself. I listen to the things that uh, Matthew here is playing. And I try to, uh, you know, to, in a sense of a performance, I try to develop ideas and to create diversity, but in an organic way. But there's another aspect. I mean, we're, even though we're very conscious of trying to sculpt a sound object that is, um, has integrity, there is a sort of, and I don't want to say murkiness, but there is an unknown element that must be there too for it to have a life force. So, um, but we are really conscious of trying to create a sonic sculpture that moves through space but keeps coherence within the, say, the hour of the concert or something. I think the idea of the unknown is the scary part. And for us, I think it's the most exhilarating part, um, you know, not knowing exactly what's going to happen. But I think that it's important to, to let you know that there's always something that you know. I mean, and if you really want to be in a relationship with another musician, um, you have to definitely give those ideas of what you know, but also surrender to, you know, your, your partner here. Um, similar to maybe the compromise that you have with your wife or <laughs> husband. <laughs> which we, <laughs> which uh, we know those very well. Yes. Yeah, there's a lot of surrender there. Let's deal with something that has like an idea of time in it. I'm always in time. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Thank you. 